Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Terror. Hope everybody is well. Happy Halloween! This is the extent of a costume you guys are getting this year. Uh, sorry. I tried to do the Halloween All Signs reading Friday night when I got home for the bread and butter job. And by the time I got to Libra, my brain was just... Nothing was making sense. It's like, you know what? I can't do this. So, <clears throat> sorry. Ugh, pardon me. I'm coughing. All right. So, I'm just going to start throwing down cards and see what happens. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm not ready. All right, a couple decks here. What do I got? What do I got? I got the Wisdom Oracle. Uh, you know what? If I decide to change out decks, I know where to grab them from. Ah, okay. There it is. The Santa Muerte. Yes. It's one of my favorites. It's Sugar Skulls. Love it. Okay. Alright, this is going to be an all sign, short, sweet, and to the point. Resonates with your sun sign, cool. If not, check your moon rising, your Venus sign reading. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Cross watches are always welcome at my table. If you're new here, welcome. If you think we're going to buy, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It's very much appreciated. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the message. Huh. Weird. The Empress and the Queen of Swords. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Alright, I got a couple decks out here. Aries. What's going on with you guys? Alright. We'll use the Antique Anatomy Tarot for you, Aries. You know what? He's got to be sick of looking at my ugly mug. Here we go. Cat is being annoying. Strength and uh, the Queen of Rods. Aries, you could be dealing with a Leo. Those are both very strong Leo cards. You could be holding back in a situation. You could really want something and want to move forward with something, but are being forced to hold back. We'll see if they come back out. Nine of Rods. Page of Swords. Hmm. That's interesting energy. You're showing up as the party pony. You're challenging obstacle this Halloween. Huh. That's interesting. Coming forward with the truth about something. Alrighty. Alright, what are you letting go of? I'm just going to use my retro spread for this. What are you letting go of? Five of cups. Something that put you in a state of sadness. What are you moving toward? The world. Old cycles ending. New cycles beginning. Huh. Okay. What do you want? Seven of rods. Control back? I'll throw a clarifier on that real quick. It's a projected outcome. Five of Swords. Standing up for what you believe in. Coming out on top. Nice. It's at the bottom of the deck. Temperance. Interesting. Card of Sagittarius. Balance being restored. 
Positive energy being restored to a connection. Patience in a situation. Huh? Huh? I wonder what that, what's up with that seven of rods? What's up with that seven of rods for what you want? Oh, clarifying with the Halloween tarot. Because, you know, it's Halloween and stuff. I had to bust it out. I busted out my three, like, most... I shouldn't say most eccentric decks that I have. Probably the most eccentric decks I have are the... Um, oh, gosh. I can't think of what they're called right now. The cat is being a pistol. I fed you. What? What? I fed you. Stop. Stop, please. Stop. Stop. One second. He's like clawing at my pants. Sorry about that. The old man is being a pistol. Today is his 13th birthday. Just an FYI. So happy birthday to the old man. He's been with the family for a very long time. Okay. I mean, 13's old for a cat. Just throwing that out there. Tell me about the seven of rods. No reversals. I feel like you just want to settle your insides about this situation and put forth worth work and effort. Okay. I mean, all right. Knight of bats. And the re no reversals. Knight of bats. Knight of swords. Knight of swords. Knight of swords. Truth. Okay. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's pull one off the Wisdom Oracle for you. One, oh, hi. Oh, okay. Fine. You get to think. Think and fork in the road. All right. Real quick. Sorry, I'm not ready. 44 and 13. Thinker and fork in the road. I keep passing 44. <sighs> okay. Thinker. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious things are exactly as they seem you have all the information you need keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now oh wow okay well 13 talk to me about 13 Every choice has a consequence. You've arrived at a fork in the road and are being asked to come to a decision. Will you further your dreams by choosing left or by choosing right? Will you take the fork less take the road less traveled or the one well worn by others who have come before you? This is your choice and yours alone to make. Circumstances and other people will not make it for you. Be present and do not avoid this junction, for it is an important crossroads. Take heart, as no matter which path you choose, you will have a rich and meaningful experience. Wow. Okay, Aries, that's what I have for you, dear. Short, sweet, quick, and to the point as possible. Okay. Taurus, what am I feeling for Taurus? Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one for Taurus, too. Ten of rods, four of rods, hmm, you're at a place of finally releasing a burden. The challenge is stability, weird, what are you letting go of? Four of swords, well, <laughs> wow, a card of letting go, gosh, letting go of a heartbreak. moving towards you. Three of Cups. Oh, wow. Reuniting? Unity? What do you want? Eight of Rods. Communication. Forward movement. Okay. What's the outcome? A hanged man. <sighs> Need a clarifier. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is a soulmate connection. Somebody you've been kicking it with for a minute. No wonder. All right. All right. Clarify the Four of Rods, Ace of Pumpkins, you challenge the stability, new start, Ace of Pumpkins, which is the Ace of Coins in this particular deck. I love this, by the way, it's so freaking cute, Empress at the bottom of the deck currently. You could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. Chariot decided it wanted to come out as well. Could be dealing with a cancer. Right. Challenges stability. Forward movement. You want to be able to move forward. One on the four blades. One on the four blades. I'll take to the hanged man and the five of pumpkins. You're releasing the heartache, the being left out in the cold, the being hung up and stuck. Why is your outcome? One on this hanged man. Night of imps could be dealing with a party pony. Somebody that was in and out. Okay. Why the three cups? Forward movement, communication. Okay. Could be coming into a space where you're just going to be hanging out with friends, talking to people, getting to know people. All right. Why the eight of rods for what you desire? Options. You want options. I like it. Very nice. All right. Why the hangman down here for Taurus? <laughs> One more. Queen of Imps. Be careful with that. No reversals today. It came out in the reverse officially. No reversals today. Be careful with this outcome. It's 
It's acceptance of the fate of the situation. It's forward movement. Don't get into something toxic. We have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So, okay. Okay. Could potentially move into something lasting, stable. Could. I don't think that's what you want right now because that's your challenge. Like, you want it, but you don't. You're in this weird, like, hang-up energy. I don't know. I don't know. One from the Wisdom Oracle, please. One from the Wisdom Oracle. One from the Wisdom Oracle for Taurus, please. Okay, we'll take two. Here and now and exchanging gifts. 27 and 32. All right, number 32. Here and now. Everything happens now in the present. Only this moment counts. You have what it takes to handle anything today if you let go of the need to look into the future or reflect on the past. Be present and notice what is going on right now. This very moment has the potential for you to create miracles in your life. Okay. I'm exchanging gifts, number 27. 27. Entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. Yet, in order to honor them, you must put in the time exchange your experience and skills and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance and give and take. <clears throat> you must engage in the dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create imbalance. This is not time to just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. Okay. What I got for you, Taurus? I think I'm going to change decks. Gemini! Gemini! Ten of Swords and the Chariot. You're ending what has been a painful cycle. The sun is starting to shine again. Your challenge is moving forward. What are you letting go of? Hierophant could have been something with the potential of being with the potential of being committed. Could be a Taurus. I also have Cancer on the board. What's coming in? The star healing. Nice. Aquarius energy. What do you want, Gemini? 
Six of Cups. Is this the six or the nine? It's the nine. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to tell. That's the nine of cups. She's holding six of them. I mean, she seems pretty happy. So you want eternal happiness. Okay. You want to be at peace with yourself. You want to be at peace with the situation. What's the outcome? The Queen of Swords. Oof. Oof. I don't know about all that jazz. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Could potentially have been a third party situation. the Queen of Swords. Oh, okay. Okay. Seven of Pumpkins and Temperance. Mm. Patience, patience, patience. I feel like truth is coming out. I feel like conversation is going to happen, but you just got to be patient. I feel like a conversation... Someone speaking truth, or you speaking truth, and someone receiving truth. It's going to be a long time coming, though. But it's going to bring balance back into the situation. You could be playing with Sagittarius, too. That's the second time she's come out. Tonight. Today. This afternoon. Second time she's come out in a reading. Two of bats at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. To make a decision with clarity. Probably make a decision to cut somebody out of your life. Could be with that Queen of Swords as well. Let's get an Oracle message for you, Gemini. One from the Wisdom Oracle for Gemini. Okay, we'll take two. Thinker and not for you. I already read Thinker once, but I'll do it again. Why not? Forty-four. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct. For in this moment, there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Number six. This is actually like one of my favorite cards in this deck. Not for you. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm going to read the message anyway. There are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. It's as if you really get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. You don't really get to be in the game, you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are going, not going to attain what you want right now. That, indeed, your dreams for that exact thing will not be fulfilled. This is a time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart. For there are benevolent forces who desire the best for you and have a much clearer idea of what is for your highest good. Rejection is God, God's protection. Something much better that will make you truly happy is on its way. Trust this. Alright, Gemini. Gosh, I struggled with that. I'm starting to lose my voice. Okay.
Cancer. All right, talk to me about cancer. Two of swords, nine of cups. You have a decision to make. The challenge is what decision is going to make you happy. Okay. What are you letting go of? Page of Swords. What are you moving toward? Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Okay. Could be an air sign or a situation with an air sign that you're letting go of. You're moving toward abundance. You're moving toward what's best for you. Probably what's going to make you happy. What do you want? Seven of Cups. Options. You want options? What's the outcome? Four of Cups. Okay. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Tower. Sudden Change. I feel like whatever this is is going to come in quick. All right. Quick shuffle. Clarifying the Seven of Cups is the Five of Pentacles. One more. Page of Cups. Hmm. You might want to be seen as an option. You miss someone. Or page energy. One on this page of swords for cancer. Just one. Oh, you wanted to come out. The sun. Walking away from connection that was honest. Gave you a great deal of joy. Possibly someone you have children with. One more. Could just be a Leo. Page of coins. Now I'm super confused. Could be walking away from something that was moving a little bit too slowly. You got a lot of pages on your board, Cancer. You could be dealing with a very a very much younger person or a series of very much younger people. One of the Ten of Pentacles. Emperor. Yeah, you're walking toward the Emperor. I get it now. What's the Four of Cups? Magician. three pages. Could be dealing with an Aries. The Emperor and the Magician is both Aries energy. Super strange. You're walking towards somebody who's actually going to hand you a cup and you're walking away from three pages. 
one on this page of ghosts. Six, six of ghosts. Yeah, some of you go way back with. You might want to apologize. You might desire an apology from someone that you go way back with. Somebody you miss, possibly somebody that ghosted you. But ultimately, you're in the decision of doing what's best for you and making a decision with clarity for what's going to make you the happiness. And I'm thinking it's this freaking emperor tower again. I can't make this shit up, guys. Cancer change is coming. <laughs> Cannot make this shit up. <laughs> That's cool. I tell you, that's some cool shit right there. All right, all right, all right. Let's get a Wisdom Oracle for you real quick. All right. Wisdom Oracle for Cancer. Wisdom Oracle for Cancer. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, too. Two towers. I don't know. Don't view that as catastrophe. View that as the universe moving something the hell out of your way. To put there what's supposed to be there. Because you're moving towards something better. By the book. Really? 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 Oh! 11! Well, that's cool. You're into synchronicities. This is a cool ass card. I see the synchronicities. There are 11, two towers. Things coming together. All right, by the book. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even evolution has its place in universal law. Even revolution. Even revolution. <coughs> Sorry. Has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting its instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appeared, submit to structure and follow the rules even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Okay, I just made the connection. Let me know if you did. Okay. That was for somebody. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm making decent time. All right. Switching it up. Leo. Ace Rods, King of Cups, you're starting a new path, something you're passionate about, something creative, something really stirs your fire. The challenge is emotions. The King of Cups does not wear his heart out on his sleeve. The emotions are there. He does not express them. He's got a poker face. Calm, cool, collected. Emotionally mature. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a half a cup anyway. All right. What are you letting go of? Four of Pentacles. Something you've held very dear for a very long time. Something you've been sitting on. What are you moving toward? Page of Cups. Hmm. 
Throw a clarifier on that. What do you want, Leo? Three coins. Structure, stability, foundations to be built. You want something new. What's the outcome? The lovers. Having to make a choice. Oh boy. Oh boy. The moon at the bottom of the deck. Possibly secrets, lies, and deception. Maybe the path just isn't lit. Maybe you just don't know where the hell you're going because you can't see. All right, let's get let's get some clarity. Let's get a little bit of clarity for Leo. Oh hi, Ace of Cups. I'll be damned, it is a new cup. You're moving toward a new cup. What's up with those four coins? Page of Cups. What the shit? Are you letting go because of the Page of Cups? Well, more on this Four of Coins. More on this Four of Coins. Kind of pumpkin. Oh, shit. Some of you may be letting go of a family situation. The funny thing about this King of Cups, he's been hanging out of that cup for a long time. That's a cup that he's held very dear. Moving off towards something new. The challenge is. One on the King of Cups. One on the King of Cups. Shut up. One on the King of Cups. The Emperor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maintaining that stance. Maintaining that. I'm in control. Keeping that poker face on. You're having a hard time. One on this Three of Pentacles for Leo. One on this Three of Pentacles for Leo. Strength. Foundations. Stabilities. Leo, that's your card. Knight of Cups. You want to be able to give and receive that cup. You have somebody you want to give that cup to. Some of you may have to let go of a family situation. Some of you may have to let go of someone who's filled your cup for a long time and is no longer filling it. That's why your cup's half full. Give me one on this lover's. I really don't want to take three, but I'm going to. The Star, the Empress, and the Nine of Wands. Making a final choice. One that is going to bring healing. One that is going to bring growth. One on this Nine of Imps, please. One on the Nine of Imps. Thank you, the Fool. Wow. Wow. One last go. One more run through the fire. Nice. Nice. I feel like you're jumping into something new. I think you're going to give love one last go. Page of cups. Or sorry. Page of pumpkins at the bottom of the deck, which would be the page of pentacles. 
Take it slow. Take it slow. Take it slow. One from the Wisdom Oracle for Leo. One, thank you. Never ending story. Nice. Number 37. Three plus seven is ten. Ten plus zero is one. One is a new beginning. New beginning to the never ending story? There is a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self loathing and arrogance, and all matter of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted, distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. And the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part. Small and vulnerable. And easily soothed. Wow, Leo. Wow. Wow. All I gotta say to that is wow. That... Your show, baby. You do you. That was, that was powerful. That was. I don't have a drop of Leo in my chart anywhere. That was powerful. I said, I don't think I do. I don't believe I do. <laughs> okay. At least not in my tops. Speaking of my tops, Virgo, the Virgo Moon. Ah, uh, you know what? I like this deck. We're gonna run this. King of Coins decided he wanted to fly out, Virgo. We'll put him back. Are you, like, bossing up? Are you to catch, baby? We'll see if it comes back out. Nice. You kicking him with a Leo? You off to some new, too. The challenge is stability, though. The challenge is building that foundation. Possibly a foundation that's already been built. What are you letting go of? The chariot. What are you moving toward? Eight of rods. What do you want? Seven of rods. What's the outcome? Eight of coins. Bottom of your deck, the moon. Okay. The path is not lit. Okay. One on the chariot, please. Four of wands. You already made beer. What? That's connection. Virgo, that is a connection. One of the three coins. Did I get a flipper? I did. It's way down here. Page of wands. Page of imps. Page of wands. 
I feel like your path keeps getting interrupted. If you look at the traditional Page of Wands card, um, the cat on his path keeps walking in front of him. So it's like the page wants to go, 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 and is all about, hey, let's do this, and something keeps stopping him. It's like, okay, so there's interruptions in the path. One more. Or maybe some delays. King of Swords. Delays. Delays in the foundation. Delays in laying the foundation. King of Bats. Could be could be like an older person. Like a dad figure. Like, you know, Mr. Logic. You probably shouldn't do that. That's probably not a good idea. You... One more on this chariot, because this is a strong, powerful connection you're you're walking you're walking away from. Twin, possibly twin flame, if you believe in that sort of thing. Definitely soulmate, which, yeah, soulmates go in and out of each other's lives. Sometimes that's the purpose behind it. Queen of Pentacles, what? Hmm. Okay, what's the, what are you walking toward? What's this eight of rods? Interruptions in the path, the speed at which something is moving. The fool, communication, something going faster. Something more balanced. Hmm. Oh, Band-Aid. Throw a Band-Aid on something. What do you want? What's the Seven of Rods? Seven of Rods regains control. Ace of Imps. I think you just want things to be out of your way. You want this new start. I think someone or something is trying to stop you. Empress, you want growth. You want to go towards something that's going to grow. All the potentials here for this. It's stable. You want more. Okay. What's the outcome? One on the eight of coins, please. One on the eight of coins for Virgo. The moon. <laughs> the path is not lit, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune, but it is destined. It is destined. I think it's going to be a scary path, Virgo, but it's destined. That's what you're supposed to do. You're going to, have to, you're going to have to work your ass off. It's not going to come easy, but it's destined. Things are just in interruption mode right now. Six of ghosts at the bottom. So the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Possibly. Possibly. Maybe some soulmate interaction. All right, let's get one from the Wisdom Oracle for Virgo. One from the Wisdom Oracle for Virgo. Soulmates, what was I just saying? Change in the wind. All right. 41, four plus one is five. Five is change. Nice. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. 
certain people into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience. Although the results for you may, will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them. And sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially too. Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life only for a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people. They are your greatest gifts. All right, 12, change in the wind. One plus two is three. Three is the number of divinity. Destiny, nice. Number 12, number 12. I almost started reading number three. How funny is that? Number 12. I can freaking find it. It's human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change. To want the world to remain consistent like a zebra's stripes. Yet nothing in human experience is black and white. Nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out. <clears throat> moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course. Remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds, and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in unshifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. Oh, wow. Oh, Virgo, this one was for you, baby. The unknown is where the magic lies. I like it. I like it. That, like, seriously vibe. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. I like it. I think I might use the Wisdom Oracles more often. I've had them forever. I got them from Emma um, shortly before we started moving uh, moving with the channel. So it's been almost three years. Okay, Libra. All right, we're going to change decks. Libra. It's about 4.30 treatings going from five to eight. I think if I get them out there by like six, we'll be good. And I don't think I'm going to dress up. I think I'm just going to go in my sweatshirt and comfy pajama pants. <laughs> not feeling it tonight. I'm just not feeling it. Libra. Strength, three of pentacles, defeating your inner demons, could be holding back, I may throw a clarifier on it, the challenge is stability and building foundations, the, the challenge is watering the seeds, huh, what are you letting go of, queen of wands, what are you moving toward, the world, a completion, old things ending, new cycles beginning, what do you desire, the nine of pentacles, independence, what is the outcome, page of cups, possibly the giving or the receiving of an apology, bottom of the deck, ace of wands, oh my, okay. Libra.
one on strength. Strength. Libra, you may be dealing with a Leo. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. You may be dealing with Leo. One more. Eight of Ghosts. Moving on. Defeating one's demons. Moving on from an emotional situation. Coming out of a state of holding back, possibly. Why the Three of Pentacles? Eight of Imps. Communication. Fast forward movement. Another eight. Another card of moving on. Might be trying to rush some seeds. One on the nine of pentacles, please. I lied. That's the six of pentacles. I screw this up all the time. It's pointing at the damn six, too. Why the six of pentacles? So you want balance. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense now. Balance in a situation equal give and take. Temperance. That's beautiful. Patience. Even flow. Even flow. Okay. Why the Queen of Wands? One on the Queen of Wands. Telling you that one. It came out initially in the reverse. Could be a legal matter. Could be something that was unjust. Nine of bats, anxiety. Can indicate a karmic situation as well. Possibly with an older person, possibly with a fire sign. One in the world, just one. Ten of rods. Completion. Completion. Old cycle's ending. One more. The moon. Queen of Wands. Queen of Imps. Possibly coming into your own. You could be moving out of a situation where you've had to please someone else. So you're going to please yourself. You're going to go into this Queen of Wands energy, Libra. You're going to do what you want, not what somebody else wants. You want balance. You want harmony. Coming into your own. Harnessing your strength. Planting your seeds. Why the... Why the Page of Cups? Did I say Pentacles earlier? Because that's the Page of Cups. Could be an apology still. Page of Cups. Seven of Pumpkins, Nine, Knight of Rods, Five of Pumpkins, Six of Imps. Oh, that, it, that comes with a price, don't it? Situation you're going to be extremely patient with. Possibly someone who just wants your attention, someone who you ghosted out in the past. 
Someone who's been in and out of your life. Someone who goes to it out on you. You could have an apology coming. Someone who may well have been waiting, waiting very patiently to give you this apology. Three of Ghosts, Reunion. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Ghosts, Options, Libra. Do what you want. You're getting a Wisdom Oracle. I'm not beating a dead horse anymore. I need a Wisdom Oracle for Libra, please. One Wisdom Oracle for Libra. One Wisdom Oracle for Libra. Thank you. The Tribe. Number eight. This card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures. And we need to know we are useful to our tribes, families, and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels, I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless, of its former focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the tribe, your presence is needed. Uh. All right, Libra. Hmm. Hmm. That's something to consider, isn't it? Scorpio. Six of coins, ten of coins. You're in a place of wanting equal give and take. Your challenge could be family, could be the whole enchilada. You're leaving the hanged man. You're walking into the queen of rods. Being stuck, knowing what you want and going after it. Well, that's a good energy to leave and that's a good energy to run into. What do you want? The moon, you don't know. There's secrets, the path is not lit. I don't think you know what you want. What's the outcome? King of Cups. Star at the bottom of the deck, card of healing, Aquarius energy. Maybe a Pisces, I got two cards of Pisces here. Got a little earth, got a little water, got a little fire. I need clarity. Can I get one card of clarity? And this ten of coins, please. That's really the only one I think I need to clarify so far. Ace rods.
One more. Maybe communicating that you want a new start. This this feels so family oriented. Challenge your standing up doing what's right for you. What's the moon card all about? Six of Cups. Page of Rods, interruptions in the path. It's another one of those family things. I feel like for some of you, every time you tried to leave, something pulled you back. You want to go off into the unknown. Something keeps pulling you back. One on the King of Elixirs. One on the King of Elixirs. Thank you. Five of Ghosts. Five of Cups. Sadness. One more. Knight of Bats. Someone may be saddened by the truth. Two of Imps at the bottom of the deck. Crossroads. Letting go of the old. Moving into the new. You're moving from being stuck to going after what you want and getting it. But I feel like hearts are going to get broken in the process. Could be parents, could be older family members, could be older siblings, old dear friends. Somebody's heart's going to get broke. One from the Wisdom Oracle for Scorpio, please. One from the Wisdom Oracle for Scorpio. Saying not yet. Oh my gosh, three? Okay. Leg up, loyal heart, clean it up. Wow, this is going to be the longest part of this. 34. You've come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life has a way of presenting you with, with the perfect people to align. Sorry, the perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given when you embrace inter uh, interdependence allowing teamwork and independence to commingle miracles happened now is such a time 35 evidence of loyalty will appear in your life others will prove they're faithful to you and you will tur in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter the outer circumstances in your life. Trust and have faith. For you are eternally loved. Always divinely protected and divinely directed. And number 21. Clean it up.
ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Too much work? Overwhelmed? Time to clean house? Every time... Sorry. Every item out of place... <clears throat> Natters? What? Every item <clears throat> out of place natters to you. I think that might be a typo. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius. We are just about done. Hmm. I struggle with the oracles and reading them aloud. The more tired I get, the more my dyslexia gets to me. So it's something that's definitely been a challenge for me most of my life. Strength. You're in a place of holding back. Or finding and gaining strength. We'll get clarifiers. I'm going to shut up for a second. What are you letting go of? Queen of Pentacles. What are you moving toward? Seven of Cups. Confusion. What do you want? Knight of Coins. What's the outcome? The Three of Rods. More waiting. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. Could be secrets. Could be you using your intuition. Wow. All right. Okay. One on strength. The hanged man. So you're harnessing Leo and Pis Pisces energy right now? You could be held back by someone. You could be up on the gallows about someone. The challenge is hanging on. One on the four of coins. You get back in your deck, mister. I gotta pull it now. It's strayed. It's the hanged man. Can you believe that shit? Oh my god. <laughs> the challenge is when to let go. You've invested a lot of time. You don't want to. 
You're still hung up. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I am leaving it there. One on the Queen of Coins. One on the Queen of Coins. Thank you. Eight of Ghosts. You're walking away from someone you could you would have given the world to. You're walking away from something or someone you viewed as the catch. There was the sunshine in your life. What are you walking toward? And Infusion, Knight of Pumpkins. Walking toward options. Slow moving energy. I mean, ultimately, all the knights want the same thing. The Knight of Pumpkins is just more strategic about getting it. But he's got more to offer, so. Walking towards your options, the moon. Path is not lit, Sagittarius. High Priestess, moon. There's secrets. You have to use your intuition to light the way. The lovers, there's a choice. Because you got options. One on this Knight of Coins, please. Oh my God, Knight of Pumpkins, Knight of Coins. That's what you want. You're moving toward what you want, Sagittarius. I'm not going to clarify that. You're already moving toward it. <laughs> What's the outcome? Three of rods. Why, why are we waiting? Page of pumpkins. Because it's slow moving. You're waiting because the knight's still a page. Maybe they're a lot younger than you. Maybe they're not quite there yet. They don't quite have enough to offer, maybe. The fool, but you're going off on this new beginning anyway. Four of pumpkins. Hmm. Way to go, Sag. Up for the challenge, are you? One wisdom oracle for Sagittarius, please. Observer. Observer. Number 49. Huh. 4 plus 9 is 13. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 of Pentacles letting go. It's interesting. Just throwing that out there. Number 49. Most people see the world through their personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences, so much so that they come to believe that these are the, are the only reality. There are times when you need distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. Huh. Interesting, Sag. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to pause very briefly. I need to get something to drink and clear my throat. I will be right back. All right. I'm going to switch decks here again. Okay. This cat is just straight up harassing me now. What? What? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Okay, I think he's finally content. So, Capricorn. Talk to me about Capricorn. One more good shuffle. What's Capricorn got going on this Halloween? Lovers. Challenged by the Queen of Cups. The 
There's a choice. I feel like the person you're with, you feel a very strong pull to. It's a very strong connection, but that's not where your heart lies. What are you letting go of? Nine of Swords, anxiety. What are you moving toward? Destiny. What do you want? A new start. What's the outcome? Conflict. Well, gee. Bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles. Could be the dance of change. Could be weighing your options. Well, gee. Hmm. That's, uh... I just want to know what you're anxious about. You're moving in, okay, so you're moving into a cycle coming to an end and a new cycle beginning. Your heart lies with the person that you are not currently with. You want a new start. Ends in conflict. Talk to me about the Nine of Swords, please. Talk to me about the Nine of Swords. Nine of the six. I always get these screwed up. It's the nine. Now I'm second guessing myself. Oh my gosh, I feel like such a doofus. I gotta look this up. Hold on. I was right. It's the nine of swords. It's anxiety. Okay. You're walking away from anxiety of going on the new path. The page of imps is walking a new path. Possibly you've had to wait because there was things interrupting the path. That stinking cat that keeps getting in the page's way. Okay. Maybe that's what led to the anxiety. Talk to me about the five of wands. Talk to me about conflict. Talk to me about conflict. Talk to me about conflict. Conflicts about the new start. Ten of ghosts. Oh, well. The outcome is the ten of ghosts. The outcome is absolute happiness, but there's going to be conflict. Eight of imps, possibly someone thinks you're moving too fast. Maybe that's why there's been interruptions. Five of ghosts, sadness. Somebody doesn't want to see you do this. Somebody doesn't want to let you go. Somebody doesn't want to let you go. Possibly. Possibly this person. Possibly the challenge. My challenge might not be your feelings. The challenge might be someone else's. Bottom of the deck, five of batch. You gotta, you gotta do what's best for you, Capricorn. You have to do what's best for you. And if it hurts somebody else, too damn bad. I hate to be that person, but you gotta do what you want to do. If you want a new start, if you want a new cycle in your life, you gotta do what's best for you. Let's get a wisdom oracle for you. Get a wisdom. Okay, it's saying take two. A higher power and why. Four. Y is 31. 3 plus 1 is 4. 
Four plus four is eight. Eight is the card of moving on, or eight is a number of moving forward. All righty. Seeing the synchronicities here, guys? I'm seeing the synchronicities here. All right, a higher power, number four. Da -da 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 -da. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then, Get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. <laughs> Throwing that out there. Thirty-one. There's great power in understanding your motives right now. The Oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles, motives, Divine <clears throat> motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. This invincible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. That's amazing. That is amazing. All right. Aquarius. Mm, feeling it. I'm still feeling it. One more. That's better. It chunked. It got all chunky on me there for a second. Had to whip it. Six pentacles. Four of pentacles. Willing to give and receive, ready to give and receive. The challenge is Four of Pentacles. Let's throw a clarifier on that. What do you let go of? Seven of Cups. What are you moving toward? Santa Morete. Death. Endings and beginnings. New things being birthed from old things dying. Okay. What do you want? Page of Wands. You want a new path. You want action. Outcome is the Ten of Pentacles, so prosperity. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands, victory. Walking away from confusion. Moving toward things changing and moving in your life. I think your challenge here... I'm not going to speak on that yet. Uh, give, me a give me just a second. Shuffle those back in. One more good shuffle. I 
I gotta know what this Four of Pentacles is all about. Queen of Wands. Knowing what you want and going after it. Knight of Imps, action, going after it, going after it. Well, you're holding on to something. What are you holding on to? What are you holding on to? Three of Cups. This could be friends. This could be family. One in the Seven of Cups. Just one. Just one. Nine of Imps. Nine of Imps. Nine of Imps. Confusion, walls, walls, the moon, the unknown, confusion, confusion. You've had your walls up because things have been confusing. You're letting that go. You're moving forward. You want a new path. You want, you want, your outcome is prosperity. You want a new path. You want a new direction. You want forward movement. You have a queen and the knight of imps, which are the wands. Clarifying a four of pentacles, you need to release something to move something forward. Three of cups, family, friends, togetherness, ace of bats, that's swords, communication. I feel like you had a falling out with someone, seven of bats, seven of bats. You need to let go of some kind of deception. You need to let something go. Something has been holding you back. You're finally at a place where you can give and receive evenly. You need to let go of someone who is deceptive or something or the lies that were told. Maybe the way it made you feel. Could have been about a third party, but you got to let this go to move on. Five of bats. Battle on the beach. I feel like you gotta take your power back. You gotta do what's best for you. Bottom of the deck, the hanged man. Seeing things from a different perspective and letting something go. It's the release. I need a wisdom oracle for Aquarius, please. A wisdom oracle for Aquarius. Thinker, again, I gotta read this another time. I'll read it one more time just for the people who are like, you know. Skipping through. Following the timestamp. Sorry, I couldn't think of what I was trying to say. 44, 4 plus 4 is 8. It is the card of moving on. It is the number of forward movements. 44. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations are proved to be correct. For in this moment, there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple, and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Okay. Aquarius, you know what's up. Now do you. Don't let it hold you back any longer. Okay. Pisces. I One more. One more.
King of Wands, Six of Wands, you're in this mode of I want it and I'm going to stop at nothing to get it. The challenge is being noticed. What are you letting go of? Two of Wands being in the land of being at the crossroads. You're letting go of the crossroads. You're finally letting go of the wand and moving forward. Okay. What are you moving toward? The King of Cups. Mm, I don't know about that. You want Two of Pentacles. The outcome is Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. You're dealing with the bottom of the deck. It's the Seven of Cups. Confusion. Confusion. Options. Options. Maybe you want to keep your options open. I feel like some of you may be like zeroing in on something. Have to throw some on this one. King of Wands has a tendency to zero in. Like tunnel vision focus at times. Doesn't always see everything around him. Alright, why the six of rods? Why the six of rods? <laughs> this King of Cups ain't, is not giving you the time of day. Something you're moving toward isn't giving you the time of day. It's not noticing you. It hasn't seen you yet. One on the two of rods. Okay, I'll take two. The Hereford and the Knight of Ghosts. Oh, shit. Are you ready to commit? You want it. You want commitment. You don't want to be in and out anymore. You don't want to be giving your cup or taking cups from just anybody anymore. You don't want to be a notch in somebody else's bedpost, so to speak. The problem is, this king of cups, emotionally withdrawn, emotionally closed off. You don't know how they feel. One on this king of elixirs, please. Thank you. Night of bats. Well, you're moving toward each other. Kinda. I mean, kinda. Oh, that's because they're, they're not one for emotions. They're just ones of action and communication. and They're thinkers. They're always on the move. Night, Night Batch changes his mind a lot. That's why he's so in and out. Two bats. Ah. Yep. Clear decision making. Clear, de de clear decision making. There's two coins you want in somebody else to choose, I think. I think, I think. One of the two coins, please. Okay. You showed yourself. You showed yourself. You all are getting put back. Thank you. The sun. This could be someone you've had multiple chances with. Possibly you want one last go around. You feel the connection. You want one last go around. You want to get picked. You want to get picked. Okay. Okay. One on temperance. Ten of pumpkins. <laughs> I mean, the potential's there. You may have to wait a minute. Temperance is a card. Patience. Bottom of the deck. The moon. The path is not yet lit. Could be secrets. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe y'all been in and out of each other's lives and the path ain't lit for either one of you right now. Y'all gonna be patient with each other. Alright, give me a wisdom oracle for Pisces, please. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Tick tock! One fell on the floor. This is important. Peace. Okay. Number 30, tick tock. Number 30, tick tock. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if that isn't true at all? What if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order, were happening now in glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire, so release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each other to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are right here. Miracles are here, right now, and always show up when you need them, right on time. Number 23, peace. It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want, and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. Okay, Pisces. Hmm. All right, guys, this has been your Halloween reading. Again, pardon the lack of a costume. It's been a rough weekend. Know that you love to be blessed. Um, for one of you guys see this, have a happy rest of your Halloween. And I'll catch you guys for November round two. And probably for the weekly top and bottom before I start round two. I don't know. We'll see what Monday brings. Happy Halloween.